Ian, looking forward to the game on Sunday away at Oldham, uh, one of the last three of the league games of the season. Yeah, it's going to be a, a really tough game. We've already played them twice this year and they've both been, uh, as I said, they've been the real battles every time we've played them. So, yeah, uh, looking forward to it. Uh, it's a big game for us. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're going to prepare right for it. Uh, big game for us. I think if we finish uh, if we win at the weekend, it's guaranteed as top four. So it's a massive game for us. And it'll uh, put us in good stead then for the next few games coming up. Um, got a good result against Batley and uh, looking to uh, get back-to-back -back victories and yeah, we're looking forward to it. When you played them in the league down here earlier on in the season, it was a tight game, but it was uh, terrible conditions. Hopefully it'll be a drier track, so it will be a different kind of game. Yeah, hopefully. Um, obviously what the weather throws up like, but um, yeah, whatever the conditions are, we'll have to prepare right and uh, adapt to it accordingly on the day. And you personally came back after a spell out with injury against Batley. How did you come through that? Fine, fine, uh, which I'm pretty happy about. Didn't have uh, just a few little bumps and bruises because I haven't played for a while, but my ankle was totally fine, which was a uh, credit to Billy, Mick and Faz, really, for working hard on me at gym. Last three games of the regular season now, that one win on Sunday will definitely cement your place in the top four um, if the Halifax and Toulouse isn't a draw, of course. Yeah, yeah, it will, um, but... We're just looking at game by game and we want to finish the season strong and uh, hopefully going into that into that middle eights we, um, a lot of, with some confidence and, and playing well. Uh, obviously that's a goal of ours to finish in the top four as it with the, a lot of the teams in our league. Um, hopefully if we can get the job done this week well that, that'll secure that and then we can look uh, up towards maybe second place and finishing the season strongly and, and find us a little bit higher up. We know that if we We've got to Halifax and Toulouse, and either one of them is going to be in the four. Um, and if we can put a marker down, because we'll be playing them come the eights, if we hopefully we get in there, and um, we want to put a marker down and, and show what we're about. And you got a couple of tries as well, didn't you? Bagged a couple um, chasing Josh Castle down, are you? Because he's still leading try scorer yeah. at club. Yeah, yeah. I think he's two tries in front of me, actually, so uh, I've still got two more to go. Hopefully I'll get a couple more at the weekend and catch him up. <laughs> and you personally, uh, you just started taking on kicking duties as well. How are you finding that? You've been pretty successful with the boot in the last couple of games. Yeah, I've had to dip in and out of it a little bit this season through uh, uh, not having many goal kickers in the side. So, uh, yeah, the last couple of weeks I've took it on. Uh, I'm just trying to practice and do my best. <laughs> uh, I'm a bit of a reluctant goal kicker, but as long as I go over, I'll be happy. Well, we definitely want to win that game and get in the top four, but we know that we're a better team than that and we want to aim higher um, and we want to win all those remaining games, really. And also you bagged a try last week as well and uh, you're still climbing up that all-time try scorers for Featherstone Rovers, that, that league. Yeah, well, it was about time I scored a try. I ain't scored in ages, so uh, yeah, I was happy to get over and hopefully I can put a bit of a run together now. That'll be good. Uh, fans behind you um, for the Batley game, hopefully they'll turn out in numbers at Oldham as well on Sunday. Yeah, they've been outstanding for us all year and um, we, we appreciate it as, as players and um, they definitely don't go amiss. Um, so if we, if we can get down there at Oldham, that'd be great as well.